Hello fat stringers and low end lovers, how the devil are you today? Okay, and today we're going to be learning David Bowie's Let's Dance. It's a, it's, it's a super fun one to play, it's good for beginners, um, there's a lot of little nuances in there and we'll, we'll talk about them as we go along. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to 6th fret and 8th string with our ring finger. And we're going to play that, I don't know how many it is, but it's a lot. And we're just literally playing this, this as a bass player, all we're doing is bam 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 until we actually go into the line itself, okay? And the line itself is come to the fourth fret, now the sixth fret on the E string with your ring finger, hit it once. We want these like short, sharp notes, okay? And come to the fourth fret on the E string with your index finger. And then come to the third fret on the E string with your index finger. And then come to the first fret on the E string with your index finger. Okay, nice and easy so far, right? So we've done our intro. Okay, and then come back to the sixth fret on the E string with your ring finger and hit it twice. Yeah? And then come to the fourth fret on the E string with your index finger and hit it once. I said ring finger there, didn't I? I hope so. So sixth fret, ring finger. And then come to the fourth fret on the E string with your index finger. And then come to the fifth fret on the E string with your middle finger. So we have. Um, bam, 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 bam. And then lastly, come back to the sixth fret on the E string with your ring finger. So we have. Yeah? Uh, do that twice. So that whole part is. And then we come down, we do the second part of that, which is the sixth fret on the A string of your ring index, ring finger even. Uh, uh, hit it nice and short again like that, and then come to the fourth fret on the A string of your index finger. Then come to the third fret on the A string of your index finger. And then come to the sixth fret on the E string with your ring finger. Now if you listen to the song, you're gonna have to figure out where they are yourself. Um, there's little slides. There's little slides every now and again. Um, I don't know exactly where he puts them. They seem to be in random places. But when you're playing it live, just kind of like experiment with that. Put them in there and then take them out and put them in there and take them out. So all together we have bum 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 Okay, and that slide will take us down to the second fret on the E string of your index finger, and you're gonna hit it five times. And the rhythm is Yeah, okay, so in the first instance, you're gonna do a hammer on straight after. So come to the third fret uh, on the A string of your index finger, and then hammer on to the fourth fret of the A string with your middle finger. Like thusly, yeah? So in the context of the actual song itself, we have. Okay, and then you're gonna do the five again. Again, these fills seem to be in random places and all, so I just listen to the songs to see where they are. So we have bum, ba bum, bum, bum. Bam, 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 bam. I don't think there is one on the second one. Uh, and then we go, we do our bam, 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 bit again, yeah? So add that onto everything else. So all together, thus far, we have this. Does that make sense? So that's the whole verse. That's all of the verse together. Um, again, listen to the song. There's little, little bits and bobs in there. Teeny, teeny little bits. But that is the nuts and bolts of the whole thing. Okay, and that will take us to our chorus. So what you're going to do there is there's a lot of space in the chorus. Loads and loads of space. Um, so we don't actually do much as bass players. We're just kind of like feeding the low end, feeding the bottom. Um, okay, so come to the fourth fret on the E string with index finger and just hold it. Bam. Yeah, and then we have this little part. So we come to the fourth fret on the A string with your index finger, and the sixth fret on the A string with your ring finger, and do it again. So hold and then we do a little fill, okay? And that little fill goes like this: come to the fourth fret on the A string with your uh, index finger. Okay, and then the sixth fret on the E string with your ring finger, and then the fourth fret on the E string with your index finger. It goes like this. Yeah? So that whole part, again, I'm not gonna sing it this time. Failed. 
And there's our little fill. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> and this one, the second time around, you can do that again. Bum, 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 if you want, but if you listen to it carefully, I think that all he actually does is sustains on the sixth fret on the A string. So the first thing we have, first one we have, uh, bum, da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 da. And we do our lips to fill, do the exact same thing again. This time, sixth fret on the A string. It just seems to hold it there. Okay, then come back down to the fourth fret on the E string with your index finger, and then the first fret on the E string with your uh, index finger, and then the fourth fret on the A string with your ring finger, and then come back to the sixth fret on the A string with your ring finger and do the bam 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 and it'll bring us back in. Yeah, it'll bring us back into the whole thing again. I hope that made sense. So uh, let's go through the chorus together, okay? Bam I need a MIDI track. And we hold it again. This time comes to sixth fret on A string. Then we do this part. Four, da, 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 one, da, 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 four on the A string. And then. I don't know if it does it this long. <laughs> Good lord, man. Yeah, so I hope that made sense. There's little fills in there. Um, experiment with just coming to the fourth fret on the A string with your index finger and hammering on to the sixth fret like that and do that every now and again. Um, you know, it's just little things like that. Um, yeah, but that chorus, you could you could repeat that part, but all you can do just listen to the song and then listen to his sustain there on the sixth fret if you want, um, if you want to get it pure and get it spot on. Anyway, my friends, I hope that helped in some way. It's the nuts and bolts of Let's Dance by uh, David Bowie. Great song, great guy, great songwriter, and he will be missed. Thank you for my friends, and I shall see you in the next lesson.